my god. I just had the best morning I've ever had in my entire life hunting all these years I've been hunting. I'll tell you guys about it soon. I gotta go get my dad. I know he saw everything that I saw. I'll catch back up with you guys shortly. Dude, I'm trying so hard to get out of here. I think I see more deer still in the area. I had a doe in me. She came to my side and uh, caught me as I was looking to my left. And she started blowing. Kind of, well, she had for a few minutes when she walked by, she kind of circled the tree because she caught my, uh, caught my movement. And then she started uh, snorting took off with her two fawns, but I think I still see movement in these oaks. It's going to be really hard to get out of here without disturbing this. i got to really be careful. This is where I'm at. Big old oak tree right here. And I had all the movement, which I'll tell you guys about because it's insane. They all came right through here. Just out of range. Just, man, I was just shy of where I needed to be, but you never know. It's a game of chess. So I would have been right in, against that tree right there. I would have been, we would have been dragging one out this morning. A nice one. But Dad's over. Dad's over that way. I gotta go get him. I'm trying to find Pops, man. I'm trying not to screw this area up. I don't want our cover blown. You saw those four bucks. So did you see those two eights and then that ten pointer? There. They came towards you. I was only 130 yards away from you. Dad, oh my god. I had the best morning I've ever had hunting by far. Well, I bet you I've seen 35, 40 deer at least. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we got back out for the final battle. Are we ready, Dad? Are we ready? Let's do this, man. Just got set up. It's about quarter to three. Uh, I moved a little bit up. We, moved, we both moved up uh, from what we saw this morning. Judging on where these deer went or where they're going to come from. We did spook a few on the way in here because they're hammering these acorns right now. This is my vantage point right here. This morning I was over here somewhere. And they all went that direction. So I didn't want to push too hard. So I already started spooking deer even as I moved forward. I always spooked one where my dad sat. My dad's about 100 yards behind me, maybe a little bit shallower. I uh, just didn't want to push any harder. Hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt me later, but we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. So that's a wrap for the weekend. Um, got into some more action. I'll tell you guys all about it. Had to make a pit stop. I got to wash the truck. This thing is freaking filthy going down those back roads and everything. I mean, it's a little trashed, but not too bad. I've seen worse. Since Dad did most of the driving, I didn't get as much of a mess on my shit, but that's good enough for me. Another pit stop. Got to have my freaking food on the way. That's why you guys ever had an outright bar? These things are amazing. Of course, you know, I never forget about this. The trapper, baby. Almost forgot about this. I did have a vegetable source to go with my protein intake. Boom, right there. Yeah, keep it healthy, Frizzard. All right, I got like another two and a half, three hours. It ain't too bad. But uh, to recap on what I just went through the past couple days, because I wasn't really able to do much um, out in the woods, uh, like the last couple hunts. Best uh, time I've ever had out in the woods by far. Best experience I've ever had deer hunting by far. I uh, Yesterday morning, my dad and I, we went and sat in those oak trees. Uh, we, I, like I happened to find that patch of oaks uh, in that transition. There's two transition edges back there. And what I wanted to do is I ended up uh, putting him on the tree that I was sitting up against uh, to watch that corner. The wind was perfect and everything. So um, I put him in that corner. I went about 150 yards to my left back to try to watch that, try to catch that movement that was going on back there that I was uh, observing. You know, a lot of these sits are observation uh, sits, and then I just got to learn from there if I have to move back further. 
uh, to where that movement is to catch that movement hopefully get a shot at the deer in daylight that's what I do so I'm learning as I go so that's what I took into consideration when I went uh, and sat that spot so uh, just as gray light started to uh, dwindle um, I saw a deer in front of me like dead straight in front of me I'm like oh perfect man it's on you know all morning we're gonna be in deer and then uh, I caught that movement coming out uh, that I saw uh, the night prior that evening that I sat against that tree I started seeing that movement come my way so maybe I lost count of uh, I can't count how many deer are coming because they're just everywhere pretty much all the deer that are living in that area are all going to those oak trees right now so um, definitely in the game for that but I was 100% in the game this morning because uh, not this morning what am I talking about yesterday morning when I was sitting there it started to pour rain I'm like oh great here we go again because it, it rained non-stop uh, like the past three days in a row um obviously opening day friday saturday it just it kept raining and raining but anyway uh so i'm sitting there and all of a sudden i caught movement to my left and there was a six pointer there's like another little opening right there um and then like a, a tree line edge where these deer uh i started seeing a couple more pour out of there doe a couple fawns and i saw a couple other does behind that six pointer that was standing right there and then right from there, things just got really, really, really exciting, really hot. More deer pouring out. They're all like trotting into these, uh, into the oaks where I was, where I was sitting. And then all of a sudden I saw two really nice eight pointers coming out. And I'm like, yes, I'm taking one of these. Definitely something I'm after. I'm, I'll, I'll drag this thing 700 yards. I do not care because that's worth it to me. About to get on some deer that I was intending on getting on. And then, uh, I started to kind of shift a little bit in the position, and as those deer were coming across, the doe in front caught my movement a little bit, looked at me, and then started doing these numbers, took a couple steps, looked at me again, and then dismissed it like, all right, I didn't see anything, and then uh, started heading into the oaks again, so they started trotting off, and here comes those two eight-pointers. Now I'm at the point to where, I've never had this happen before in my life either, all the years I've been hunting public land, because that's all I've ever hunted is public. And uh, I've never gotten to the point to where I, did, I had to decide which buck to take because there was, you know, that much action in front of me. So I had to decide which eight-pointer was nicer. <laughs> so I'm, like, looking at the other one. Man, do I shoot this one that's uh, right here or do I shoot the one behind him? They both were about equal. And then all of a sudden behind him was a beautiful ten-pointer, like the one that I, uh, I had mounted that I shot back in uh, 2003. I got a really nice ten-pointer, about a 130-class ten-pointer. Um, every bit as big as him and my heart just started man I thought my heart was gonna jump out of my chest and he's like he was the last deer too it's almost like they let those it's almost like they're infantry like they send those other deer in first like as flankers to uh you know uh check on the danger first before those other bucks before the other deer come in the smarter ones come in so that's exactly how it happened the very last deer uh that was coming in was that 10 pointer and um, he was about 35 yards out, and I haven't practiced at 35 yards. It was raining. Um, it would have been kind of a quick decision. I would have had like a, I don't know, maybe a two-foot wide gap to shoot through. I'm like, dude, Kev, don't do it, man. Not a good idea. So I just, um, I held off. I'm like, all right, maybe they'll come back later. Uh, maybe, you know, if they leave those oaks in a couple hours, they'll come back that direction. But that didn't happen. They ended up going back uh, where I saw them. Uh, you know, the evening prior, they, they headed in that direction. So that was going to be my next move for the, uh, evening sit, which is what I did. Like, all right, I'm going to push a little bit harder. I'm going to move back, uh, right where I'm catching that movement. And, um, so that last night, which was our last hunt, we both pushed a little bit further in, played the wind, right? Everything like that. We got on like 35, 40 deer again. They're everywhere. They're all around us, almost stepping on us several times. <laughs> that was, that was awesome. Um, but I caught some more movement. Now I know next time I, that I go in there, cause now we're going to give it a couple weeks break cause I'm not coming back up for a couple weeks. So that area does need to cool off a little bit. Cause yeah, we did hunt it, uh, three times. We did get busted twice. Um, when I went to go get my dad yesterday morning, um, a six pointer that was working his way towards him, um, ended up spooking off. And then, um, there was a couple does off to his left also that were, still in the area and I did actually get picked off by a doe um, shortly after it was like maybe an hour and a half after the, all those deer came in including those bucks and I thought for sure because they were heading towards my dad 
I'm like, all right, good. My my dad's gonna see this action too. He's gonna see the bucks, and hopefully he'll get a shot at one of them. And uh, that just didn't end up happening. They didn't make uh, their way towards them, or they might have been back there. And just the pattern that they were walking between the trees, he just never caught that movement. But uh, yeah, I. So when we headed back out in the evening, we pushed back a little bit further, and I was able to catch that movement that I saw the night before. But if I would have been a, another 40 yards, I had to move up another 40 yards. But uh, when we went in there, I jumped uh, like three deer, so I didn't want to push any harder. I'm like, all right, this will be my next observation sit. Maybe it'll be a kill sit. It might be, it might not be, but just sit right here. Don't push any harder. And um, I'm kind of kicking myself for it now because I really should have pushed a little bit more forward because that's where I saw all that movement. Now I know exactly where they're coming from, so I'll know that next time to go out there. But yeah, this morning I just rat, you know, I uh, packed up. It's the hunt's over with, and then I'll be back in a couple weeks. But um, I had to share all this uh, info with you guys. Really opened my eyes what you can do on public land, man. They're they're back further in those woods. You just gotta you gotta do your homework. You know, if you if you if you do your homework, it'll pay off. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, vlog video that I put together. Um, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. It always helps me out. Everything that you guys do, keep watching, keep supporting. And I'll keep uploading for you guys. I appreciate it so much. Guys, take care.